Hi, everybody. Joe Chaffee here. Weather in five, five days and five minutes. And coming up tonight on the Joe and Joe Weather Show as Arctic air departs. We've got some rain to deal with this week and also maybe some snow and ice for New England and perhaps down on the parts of southern New England as well. We could have uh, ice problems uh, from Oklahoma on up to Illinois, and that's why we've got those winter weather advisories up there. So we'll have it all for you, including a look at the long range tonight on the Joe and Joe Weather Show, and that's at 7.35 p.m. Eastern Time. So as we uh, take a look at what's going on this afternoon, uh, we're going to bring up the uh, hazards map and uh, look at uh, some of the current observations. Uh, this is as of uh, 3 p.m. Eastern time. We seem to have recovered off the morning lows, which were in the teens and single digits across the Northeast. Uh, many areas up in upstate New York are having a tough time getting to 20. But further south, as we uh, head down toward New York City and Philadelphia, even with the snow cover that's uh, on the ground in uh, southern New Jersey, down into Washington, D.C., Baltimore, it managed to hit the 30 degree mark and it was a very cold morning uh, in the south, particularly in the Appalachians and points west where we saw temperatures drop down near or below zero this morning. Well, we we're recovering nicely, still in the 20s across Tennessee and Kentucky, but it did manage to make upper 30s and low 40s uh, in uh, Georgia and South Carolina. Uh, and even into parts of North Carolina. So some progress is being made as this Arctic air mass moves on out. And as we check out the uh, satellite loop, the kind, that whitish you, uh, areas that you see from Maine southwestward into the Tennessee Valley, when the loop is in motion, uh, that's not moving because that is snow cover uh, that is on the ground. And it's funny because uh, in December, we had one of the lowest snow covers across the United States uh, on record. And uh, now we've gone to decadal highs as far as snow cover is concerned across the uh, U.S. It's uneven. Not everybody's got snow cover, obviously, but that's just the way it works in the weather world. And the cold air off the ocean, you can see the clouds that are being produced uh, from those northwest winds, uh, the, cold, the cold northwest winds offshore. But the core of the high is now moving closer to the coast, and the Arctic air is going to be moving out. And we don't have any Arctic air to speak of for the rest of this week, at least. In the meantime, moisture is gathering in the western Gulf and back through Texas and into the southern plains to set up the next weather system. And there'll be actually a series of weather systems that we'll be dealing with. And we've got some action uh, happening out in the west as storminess comes in from off the Pacific. Radars are fairly quiet in the east. We have uh, precipitation. We have rain developing across central Texas and moving into Oklahoma uh, and moving into the air that is below freezing, which is going to create some icing problems. Uh, also across New Mexico and back over into Arizona, we're seeing uh, rain there and some snow in the mountains. Uh, rain coming in uh, to the uh, west in California, northern California, and also up uh, into the Pacific Northwest. And wet weather is going to be the story this week as we check out WPC's rainfall forecast for the next seven days. And we're looking at big rains uh, for areas from East Texas through Louisiana and Mississippi of five inches or more cumulative. It's going to be spread out over the week. Uh, and uh, we've got the two and a half inch line pushing into southeastern Kentucky uh, and into North Carolina and, of course, South Carolina and Georgia uh, down to the Florida panhandle. In the northeast, half an inch total precip in upstate New York and into uh, parts of central and northern New England. It's a quarter to a half. And then you move into southern New England and down into Virginia. We got three quarters of an inch to as much as an inch and a quarter to an inch and a half of precipitation being indicated. And much of this that you see here is going to wind up being in the form of rain, with the exception being up in New England, where uh, we could see some snow and uh, maybe even some ice on Tuesday, particularly uh, as far as the ice goes, maybe in parts of southern New England and perhaps even as far south as uh, the Hudson Valley, northern New Jersey and uh, parts of northern Pennsylvania. Uh, so as we uh, take a look at uh, what the GFS is uh, telling us this afternoon, there's your high in eastern Kentucky making its way toward the North Carolina coast by Monday afternoon. We'll have a west wind tomorrow, so temperatures will be moving higher. 
But you got to remember, it's been very cold in the southeast, so the air down here ain't all that warm. So you're not going to see temperatures suddenly zoom up into the 50s. It's just going to be a slow climb into the uh, upper th- mid and upper 30s for tomorrow. And then Tuesday, this is where it gets a little tricky for the northeast. So you see the moisture that's coming out from Oklahoma and building across Missouri and into Illinois, freezing rain and some snow on the northern end. Uh, there's a lot of Gulf moisture there that gets involved and starts to lift up toward the Great Lakes. Now, there's also a big high in southeastern Canada. So there will be some low-level cold air that will try and drain southward on Tuesday as this precipitation is moving northward. You'll notice the GFS has got that pink area in northern Pennsylvania that's freezing rain. And uh, the blue, of course, being snow uh, in uh, western and southern New York and back across Michigan and southern Wisconsin. Uh, Some patches of heavier rain across the south. uh, And that's, again, now that we've got wave number two getting ready. But the first system uh, looks like there could be maybe a coating to an inch or two of snow for areas uh, north of New York City, uh, particularly north of Route 84 and on up into parts of Massachusetts. Uh, We're also seeing uh, some freezing rain being indicated by the models for Tuesday night in parts of the Hudson Valley, so we'll have to keep an eye on that. Uh, That wave goes out. Next wave comes in with rain uh, for later Wednesday afternoon into early Thursday. There might be a break. There might not be uh, because more rain is coming for later Thursday into Friday, and there might even still be some leftover moisture around on Saturday as there are a couple of more waves of low pressure uh, to our south. So I know it's been a wane, rain, wane, rain weary winter in many areas of the east. So it looks like we're going to get into a bit of a wet pattern as we move forward this week and toward next weekend. So uh, we'll talk about all of this again tonight. Where? On the Joe and Joe Weather Show podcast at 7.35 p.m. Eastern Time. We hope to see you then.